we were approached by two of the local school systems and they were looking for a way that their teachers could get an endorsement on their certification that would allow them to be STEM endorsed. If enough teachers get STEM endorsed in a school, the school becomes STEM recognized by the state, which puts it in line possibly for additional funding. Part of the excitement, I think, of doing this was knowing that in the end we were going to help kindergarten through fifth grade teachers actually gain the science content because as a general rule, K-5 through teachers are generalists and so this was the exciting thing. We were in the process of considering competency-based education just as something to explore and look at for the future health of the College of Education and we started looking at ways that we could make a competency-based endorsement available to working teachers. One of the concerns that was voiced to us was the fact that we were certainly not going to be the first to offer that endorsement around the state, but these are working teachers. They just can't, number one, show up on a campus very easily, and even those that were on campus weren't able to be there consistently. And then those programs that were online, they too didn't feel like they could move at their own pace. One of the hallmarks of CBE is it is a self-paced mechanism is built in so that the teachers saw this as a real possibility for them to move at their own pace. Mostly we wanted to make sure we had a course that was flexible enough to support students going at different paces, as well as to allow students to access information and communicate freely with their instructors. We really needed that flexibility, and I think that was a key thing we were able to get from D2L. We weren't locked in on certain models of doing things where this tool can only be used in this way. I have enjoyed working with D2L. I mean, I think it's easy. I would attribute a lot of that to being not only the program is so good, but we have two really great designers that helped us with the technology and it just made it easy for us. I really love the learning on my own schedule part. As a full-time teacher and a full-time mom with kids in sports and, and outside activities and a life outside of school, I really needed the option to be able to work during the hours that I needed to work. The technology that works the best is the combination that fits. It meets the needs of the students, that it is easily managed, and it's flexible. It allows for flexibility, even unforeseen needs along the way. So technology is incredibly important. We couldn't do it without it. <music>